Hey, what is up Wolfpack? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Today, we're talking about the one, the only, the Satama Inu, or Satama token, guys, okay? And again, today, we're going to share, well, I'm going to share with you some of the biggest things we've seen here in the past couple of hours. Um, some announcements from the CEOs and the COO, so obviously Russ and various other people as well, what I've said about this. And you guys do not want to miss this because some of the things that we've been told by developers uh really are shocking and again it's really showing what's to come guys okay uh so as you guys know i'm not a financial advisor uh this is purely for entertainment purposes but i want to get straight into this and not waste your time guys because i respect you guys watching this video and if you are new please do subscribe with notifications turned on now what is going on well guys the price 1695 okay i said in the previous video you know one seven is kind of our bottom line uh swapping feature is re-enabled so that's awesome and we're starting to see some movement there. We've also seen some big updates from some developers, guys. And I want to show you that was that those are. Uh, so first things first, we've obviously seen uh, the the price action, um, and that, like I said, is one six nine five. And the reason that is, guys, is because again the, the market is currently down today. Uh, we've seen a few various things happening there. We've seen the market down. We've seen various other things down as well. Uh, but most importantly, and we'll see the updates. So let's get into that. So first thing, first we've seen an update from Russ. Uh, those updates are saying that uh, you can see here, quick update, uh, Satama and Max and the team are doing some backend updates this evening, which may have been causing a few errors or for folks, how people normalize as uh, more swaps take place and we migrate some over from Uniswap. So basically what they're saying here is you may experience a few, uh, a few bugs with the swapping feature now enabled. Um, but effectively what they're saying here is uh, that's going to normalize as more swaps take place. Kind of like a, it learns itself. Kind of like how the, how, the, how the app will learn as it goes on. The big update obviously being that the state reality token is being expe uh, delayed uh, until March 4th. Again, not really big of a delay. Uh, in fact, just a one day delay. Uh, purely because they want to make sure that everyone is used to the state mass new updates and the swapping feature updates and the various stuff, right? Um and all that so that's what we're seeing there and obviously elon manso guys another developer has been on twitter talking a lot about obviously how um a lot of things are going to be going on with obviously uh satama uh retweeting a few binance things uh, and various other stuff now again they're making some bold claims saying satama's going to hit a million holders by this year and there's nothing you can do to stop in it again he's retweeting all this type of stuff um showing us that you know pretty much we're going to be hopefully uh effectively um you know having a million follower uh, holders by the uh by the end of the year and uh, as you guys may see in my last video i talked a lot about can we see um you know pretty much uh, two zeros dropped off this price uh, i think this comes back to it you know with the developers saying there's a few delays here and there that's what really going to happen but i think the biggest question is this is the ceos aren't really saying massive things until the action is there and the reason why that's happening guys and i'll tell you why that's happening is this the ceos of satama and the coos russ and various other people um obviously had got a bigger lot of backlash last time when they announced all the things that were coming for satama um and then obviously the delays were there and i think they've learned from that this time but what we can't uh, forget is the back end of things satama ceos are always working and the developers are always working on trying to get something big. And that big uh, things will come and shock people. I really do believe that it's going to begin to shock people. Ultimately, what happens from here, guys, is they're going to be getting as many tokens in Satama, uh, Satama sorry, as fast as they can. Uh, really trying to get those swapping going. Because they know the more tokens that are involved, the more swaps that come, the more Satama is going to grow due to burns. It varies a vicious circle, really, of more tokens, more burns, more growth. More tokens, more burns, more growth. And it goes around in a circle, right? And this is where Satama really becomes unstoppable, in a, in a sense, because it becomes some, this kind of crazy kind of, uh, kind of circle where things just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, of course, the time limits for this is, is unsure. We can't tell you if you're going to you know, drop off 10 zeros or one zero within a day or a month or a year. It really is a long-term thing. I said this multiple times on my channel, you know, Satama in six, 12 months from now will, in my opinion, be bigger than it ever has been. Um, 
you know, I think we, we really can reach an all-time high with these new things happening. Now, as long as Satama continues their growth plan, continues the roadmap, continues doing what they said they were going to do, release the NFT platform, release the game, uh, keep getting tokens in, making sure everything's running smoothly, the ultimate, you know, plan effectively should happen. That being, this thing is going to drop zeros, we're going to grow. So it really is pressure on the CEOs there and the developers to make sure that, okay, to some people, this is kind of like the last straw. And I don't personally believe in that saying, but a lot, to a lot of people, that is their opinion. This is the last chance for them as an investor, because obviously we've had a few things uh, where they've promised not delivered, blah, 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 blah. And again, that's not always just a Thomas fault. That's been, you know, various other problems as well. But uh, for a lot of people, this is their last hope that, you know, this is what they need. And I think don't, I don't think people will be disappointed. But again, this is just my thoughts. I could be wrong. Uh, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. But most importantly, the biggest question is, is what is going to happen now? Well, guys, I can remotely say and confidently say, in my own opinion, that in the next four weeks, you're not going to really see massive growth uh, purely because you know, we got to give it time for the tokens to be injected. We got to give it time for the burns to happen. We got to give it time. And I know time has always been there, but it really is important, guys. Okay. Um, but six months, 12 months, I think we will see some bigger, bigger things. And I think the projects behind the Tama will ultimately show that. But I want to know what you guys think as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think this is the beginning for this? You know, even man, man, Elon Manso is saying, you know, this is the beginning of everything that's to come. So hopefully now we can start seeing this growth. Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comment section below. I'll be very interested to see. As you guys know, I try and cover all of the latest information as fast as physically possible. So if you do want to, uh, you know, stay up to date, then again, please do subscribe with those notifications turned on. Uh, and you can see it's time for greatness. Let's hope that's true. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.